Hey everybody! So this week on Saturday Scribbles, I'll be drawing some game characters. I would assume that they're very recognizable game characters. Um, maybe a couple more than the third. And I'm just using colored pencils. Um, I had already drawn the rough draft with the regular pencil. And then I'm doing the outlining in a Sharpie pen. So this first character is Toad from Mario, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really realize that this character had a name. I, I've played Mario, I've played Mario Brothers, you know, Mario Kart, but somehow it just never clicked to me that this character has a name. So the main thing to remember when drawing Toad is that the head minus the mushroom on top. The head, you can just think of it as the bottom half or bottom third of a rounded off rectangle. And then for the hat, you just want to remember that it kind of drapes over in the back. And the easiest way that I thought for the body is to just imagine the chunky stem of a mushroom, which obviously makes sense given what Toad is. <laughs> but yeah, just think of it that way it makes it easier to draw. Now granted, I did more a stylized look of Toad. This obviously doesn't look exactly like the character as you would see the character portrayed in, in the games. Um, for example, I think he has fingers and, or, or she, I think this character has fingers in the game. And I don't like drawing fingers, I like to draw little stubby arms. <laughs> um, and then the character has cute little chubby cheeks, and so when it smiles, the little chubby cheeks show. Now, this is iconic right here, one of the Pac-Man ghosts. I mean, come on. I think everybody knows what a Pac-Man ghost is, and if you don't, don't feel ashamed. <laughs> Today is the day that you find out. And when you're drawing this, if you're worried about just freehanding it like I did, you can draw a square first, and then go through the process of elimination. And so draw a square really lightly, and then within the square, draw the, the dips. Like on this first area, the top, the top crown of the head would be part of the, the square, and then you would dip down, and then over, and then the very far side of each side would be the side of the original square and the bottom would be part of the original square. And so you would just go in with the process of elimination and build it that way if you're more comfortable with that. And then just erase as you go. You could also get super precise with this and use a ruler and measure everything out and make the pixels super sharp like they would be. But I kind of like the somewhat messy look. That's just me. <laughs> it's more relaxing. Some people are relaxed by rulers. I am relaxed by freehanding. <laughs> and then for the eyes, either go through, if I remember correctly, or I, I think they're at least not black. And so I didn't color them in with the pen. Otherwise, I normally color all eyes in with the pen. And... And for the heart, I just made a little pixelated heart. Pretty simple. <laughs> now this little character is from a super popular game right now called Among Us. And while I have not personally played the game, I've heard a lot of people saying that they really enjoyed it. And I just thought that the characters are pretty basic in their form, 
and so they'd be super easy to draw. And since it is a popular game, I thought maybe people would want to learn how to draw it. And I don't know if my mic is picking up the crazy cat audio in the background, but if it is, I apologize. Um, my cats are chasing each other right now because it's the middle of the night, so of course it's time for them to get up. But anyway, big things to remember with this character is that the little backpack that it's wearing or, I think it's a backpack. <laughs> if it's not, I'm very sorry. Um, the little thing it's wearing on its is, um, comes like right above their legs and starts right below the eye shield. And when you're drawing it, you can start with a rounded off vertical rectangle and build from in there because again, the shape is very basic. And then for the visors, wherever they're supposed to be, <laughs> um, you just round them off on the, the edges. I don't think it's straight at all. And then when you go to color it, just remember that it's a reflective material, and just like glasses. And so you want to include those highlights in there. And the coloring is very basic from what I saw, which is nice, because you can really customize it the way you want when you're drawing it. And make it your own, and you have a lot of opportunities to add whatever you want. And this is a colored product. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you can go out and draw some of your favorite game characters. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.